Hey, I'm Squashman. I'm here to interview Mr. Science. This is the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud Unit Project for Mr. Howard. Bye, Blake Schmaltz. Let's start out with the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is about 30 to 50 astronomical units from the Sun. Astronomical units, or AUs as scientists prefer to make them small like that, are the measure of the distance between the Sun and the Earth. It's used in our solar system. Oh, sweet solar! The Kuiper Belt is not the asteroid belt. The asteroid belt is between the inner and outer planets and contains asteroids, and it's inside our solar system. The Kuiper Belt holds short-period comets and ice particles and is outside the orbit of Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system. It is an icy disk-shaped belt and was named after Gerald Kuiper, who predicted the belt in 1961. The dwarf planets Pluto and Eris are in it. <laughs> Pluto ain't no planet. What's up, dwarfy? Now let's get on to the Oort cloud. The cloud is basically like a huge spherical ball of large comets and ice surrounding our solar system from around 50,000 AUs or a light year away. It is also connected to the Kuiper Belt in a way so that the outer edge of the Kuiper Belt starts to expand up and down until it turns back on itself and creates a sphere. So, in a way, the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud are connected, but the Kuiper Belt region is very small, as you can see in the picture, compared to the Oort Cloud. Our solar system, as well, looks very small. All of this, though, is extremely small compared to our galaxy, and our galaxy is small to others, and so on. So basically, everything is gigantic in space. Like, freaking huge. So there you go, there's my project. That's basically what the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are, and what they mean, and what they do do whatever what there's what their role is uh did you learn anything uh, no oh oh so this isn't good enough for you huh what's up what's up with you <laughs>